Alright, I'm gonna do it real quick. One more laughing at my haters. Because, here's a question. Did you even watch the video? Why are you talking about my appearance? The book was giving shit to trans men, i.e. people born female who realize they were male inside and becoming that. And this stupid moron, who's probably one of your favorite you know, type people, a complete dipshit, because you're a dipshit, and you would say that. Nothing wrong with all that, these assholes who made all their stupid little inbred comments. <clears throat> so she said her stupid shit, and I was pointing out how full of shit she was. So I don't know why most of the comments were giving me shit about being trans. I, I, don't, I don't know. Is it because they're a bunch of losers, I guess? I don't know. We got one dickhead with a skull mask face. Oh, it's so original. You be kidding me, you can you can get me. Bitch. The only time you touched pussy was on the way out when you were born. And your and the and your daddy looked at the doctor and said, put it back. And mama said, no, that shit ain't coming back in here. For whatever reason they raised you. But it was clearly a mistake and I made mother comments because come on. Be real. You're projecting. No one would ever fuck you. No man, no nothing. My sex life is bisexual. It's none of your fucking business. Okay? Fuck off. <clears throat> and the other loser, Captain Wannabe Weightlifter, who probably had a book about this small steroids he takes. He's got all these big muscles on his body, but can barely lift shit. And there's a video of him maxing out the leg press. You know, the back one where you lift your leg like this and you're laying on your back. I looked at it. It weighs the most, or well, at least the one at the gym I went to, 245 pounds. I do that for an alt press. For fun, that's my first set. Set of ten. So you're not exactly, ooh, big badass. Go max out the fucking other machines, you know, the ones where you actually do a leg press and shit. And you can act, you know, the actual squat machines and shit, because I lift a way more than that on that. Just as my regular workout. So you're not Hercules, you're Bitchules with your fucking glasses over there. I mean, seriously. I wear glasses, but you over there, for whatever reason, you think you're an alpha male, but you're barely a beta bitch. With your birth control fucking glasses. Because ain't nobody gonna fuck you with that. So, quit coming on my page bitching, because no one wants to fuck you, or watch your boring little videos. Bye, losers. And actually, if you're gonna bitch about a video, watch it. I mean, I got the view count up, but I think you're bitching about my appearance. Because it had nothing to do with the subject matter. You're just butthurt about trans people. Well, here's to you. I'm sorry that your parents decided to raise a bunch of sentient pieces of shit. Because that was the most common. There were some normal people there. Thank you for the one or two. One normal person in the comment section. The other moron just didn't know who the fuck off. Now, inbreeding is not my problem, the rest of you assholes. The ones being assholes. The one vice person, thank you. The other ones. Fuck off. Get a life. Rent one. Watch a video on how to create a life. You're on YouTube. Do something useful instead of wasting my time with your inbred moronic comments. Seriously, Buffalo Bill? Ellie? What are you, a reject from the 90s? Come on. Get better jokes, loser. Who am I kidding? Smoke came out of your ears when you tried that. Because your tiny little brain cannot comprehend how to use independent thought. That's why the trans stuff bothers you. Because you're a moron. You have a tiny little brain. There's a little bitty hamster in your head. And it's passing out from you trying to think. And it just doesn't have the capability. Because you are brain dead. Both of you. The other idiots that said they're dumb shit that you're not even bothering with at this point. I've already made my little comments on the loser. So go back to bitch school and fuck off. And I don't mean bitch in a good way. I mean in a prison way, which is how you two idiots fit well together. Because <clears throat> let's be honest, the only pass you lose is around for a pack of cigarettes. Weak little nothings. And you know what? I'm just gonna stop right there. It's just hilarious to me. Like, the subject matter had nothing to do with M to F. 
I was talking about this idiot who made this stupid ass book where she knew nothing. She had no research, no knowledge, no nothing and ran her damn mouth. I noticed none of you could come to her defense. All you could do was have childish insults. What is that? What I was bitching about on the other video? Like, oh, right, right, right. I made the point. Well, there you go. You made my points. Fuck off. You couldn't tell me anything about this writer. Somehow has a journalist and a law degree. No actual knowledge of any science or anything. You couldn't come with that because you had nothing. So instead, you attacked me. You couldn't even talk about the subject matter at hand because it hurt your little brains to try to function and come with things. All you could come with were fifth grade insults. If you're gonna come with insults, then please at least try. Try to come up with something original and interesting. You're the most boring and pitiful bunch of losers I've ever had to do pleasure. And by the eighth grade, people had better insults than you bunch of jackasses. Are you gonna at least try? Come on now. If you're gonna waste my time writing little comments and little candy thicky, one, try to make it about the subject matter. My appearance, my life, had nothing to do with that. Okay, fuck for rent. Two, make them worth a damn. Just a fun. I was annoyed some stupid hack wannabe writer wrote shit she knew nothing about and her research was crap. The two people she had has her to find at least one has been known to be foolish shit and he's mad that she misquoted him. She says he's gonna sue her, but good luck with that. She is a lawyer. And the other one is so full of shit it's not even funny. A known transphobe and a complete twat waffle. And then she used misquotes. So again, noting, notably, none of you assholes had anything to say to disagree with the subject matter at hand. All you had was your juvenile idiotic insults, and I'm sorry to compare you to juveniles, because at least they try, try to be funny. I mean, goddamn, if you're going to come at me with some bullshit, I don't know, buy a joke book, watch some old pro wrestling interviews, something, because if you're going to make an insult, at least try, do the eighth grade fucking attempt to try it so I don't have to hear your fifth grade boring stuff. Stupid, unoriginal crap over and over again as you regurgitate it. It's like you pass on the same bullshit. And it wasn't interesting the first time. Bye. Oh. Kiss my ass.